In this video, we're going to discuss about Pardot and Salesforce integration. Now consider Salesforce to be where you provide leads which are ready for your sales rep to work upon. But to do that, someone has to work outside of sales, for example, your marketing team using a automation tool, which could be Pardot. So all the nurturing, all the acquisition of leads, everything happens in Pardot. And then once that prospect has generated enough interest in doing business with you, the score has reached an optimum level, then you would like to pass that as a lead to the sales team. To do that, we first have to ensure that there is a connector between Pardot and Salesforce. Now that connector would be a managed package which will be installed in your Salesforce and also in the Pardot. So if we look at the Pardot, if we go to administration connectors, We have various connectors over here. So one of them would be the Salesforce connector such. In this particular instance, we have we already have a connector for Salesforce. Now, whenever the connection between Salesforce and Pardot is established, Salesforce by default is going to sync with the Pardot fields. Remember that in Pardot, email ID is the unique identifier. Pardot, if you create a prospect in sale in Pardot, Pardot will pick up that email ID and will first search in the contact object of Salesforce. If he does not find it in the contact object, then it will search in the lead. Otherwise, it's going to create the record. Moreover, the sync between Pardot and Salesforce happens between every two to four minutes. So it's not an instantaneous sync. Now, whenever we install a managed package in Salesforce, there are certain fields which needs to be added as a section on the page layout. So if you look at one of the contact, all these are the fields which are mapped with Pardot. So if you look at, we will find out that this particular contact, Michelle, is, was part of a campaign by name email status when it was created in Pardot. And what was the URL as such? If we look into the related list, we will find out what kind of engagement history, how many emails have been sent to the contact over here. In Pardot, if I look into, let's take for example, in Pardot, let's look into the fields as such, for example, prospect fields. And we'll pick up any one of the custom fields. As a Pardot admin, if I'm going to edit this, I can specify this custom field in Pardot syncs with which particular Salesforce field. I can select any one of those. I can also specify the winning record, whether I have to use the Pardot value or Salesforce value. And if we have to make use of any predefined value, we can specify that. Or it has to for example, if we are using this particular field on a mail merge, if this field is empty, then we want to specify a default value. Let's go back to our presentation. So essentially, once you have set up the sync between Salesforce and Pardot, the sync will happen every two to four minutes. On custom fields, if you are creating custom field in Pardot, then you also have to create that in Salesforce and then we can sync between these fields. We can compare, we can set which particular field will win or which is the winning record as such. 
Thank you.